What is good, y'all? It's Avalanche, and welcome to the channel. So, today, I'm on Need for Speed 2015, and I was just curious to see how this game runs on the PS5, because it's been a minute since I've started up this game. Last time I really played it was with my friend Racer, but I don't usually show footage of this game on the PS5, because the last time I played it, it wasn't really that proper in terms of function, as lobbies wouldn't really load properly. You would see racers driving in one spot 24 7 it's kind of strange it's almost like if you're in a twilight zone if that makes sense because nothing is happening in real time it's either delayed or just simply not functioning properly but right off the bat i'm outside the garage and I actually got auto on okay i thought i had manual for a second yeah and then help me over here it looks like he's getting busted, but in reality, he's probably already moving, but... No, he's in his Ferrari getting pulled over by a Crown Vic right now. Mr. Enzo. <laughs> what a coincidence. It, oh, look at that! This car just suddenly... just vanished out of existence, and then the Crown Vic is just... going away, alright. That cop is out, though. What is he? he just drove into the building. Yeah, nah, this is freaky. I never see Crown Vicks move like that in this game. But if I was to check the map... Street prints... They just got outside of the garage, but... Since I'm playing on the PS5, I don't actually see them moving in real time. Or wait, I do see them moving. Uh-oh. Wait, can you see me too? Hold on. Okay, I think I might actually have someone that's playing the game properly. Hello. Wow, I'm surprised. Okay, so the game's not delayed because last time I tried playing this with my friend Racer, I wasn't able to see her driving around, but I'm able to see tree prints drive perfectly fine, so this is interesting. It's actually nice to still see people play this game, though. It's not necessarily my favorite Need for Speed game, but it is one of my first Need for Speed games I got on my PS4. All those years ago. <laughs> Did you just take him out? <laughs> oh, and Enzo's back. That's the same dude from earlier. Okay, so maybe he actually got busted and his car was just sitting there, but nah, it was definitely a delay. And again, as I'm saying this, in, like right now, as I'm recording this video, I am just amazed because I never see this activity in the game, especially on the PS5. Like, I would have to go back to my PS4 just for it to function and play properly, let alone see people driving around at the same time as me without it being delayed. But this is cool, this is cool. Need for Speed isn't necessarily a game where you hear someone on game chat. You'd usually just see them driving around the map, minding their business, honestly. So, it's not a vocal game like GTA or Call of Duty. So, who wants to race? Oh, it's Enzo. <laughs> What is this count? <laughs> 10 second car. <laughs> and everyone's favorite race, a Legends Wheels. So let me actually start at one time. See if I can get people in here. Usually when someone wants to actually race with you, it would be a blue icon, but... Oh, there we go. We got at least one person in. Oh, two. All right. That's dope. Let's do it. All right, first race of players in years on this game. Let's go. And if you see the mini-map, someone's driving way off. Or actually, no, that was just someone minding their business. Wait, um... Hold up. So you're telling me the game is actually functioning, though? Like, I'm actually seeing the time, I'm seeing the, the clock work properly. Never mind, it just froze, yeah. With the infinite timescape, <laughs> okay. 595, 46, 24, 67, yeah, that's totally how long this race has been going on for. But that's exactly what I was talking about. But overall, the general driving and AI, let alone players I'm seeing, are functioning okay. You know what, just a flex. Let me check the map, I keep pressing that button. No! I just outed myself from the race! I keep playing this like it's heat or something. I'm so used to the newer game menus. I'm playing this back like a friggin' Rust Lord. Oh my gosh, bro. 
blow? Okay, so that golf just flew by. This crowd, Vic, though, you're, you seem chill. Was well, it because I teleported? Paranormal car activity, I guess. I know that's not for me, but yeah. Map. I think these guys are actually stuck now, unfortunately. Unless they crash up and they're supposed to be driving down any moment now. Maybe I spoke too soon because, yeah, they usually do not drive like this. Look, he even shows this guy driving in circles. Teleported, right? This is exactly what I was talking about. And that sucks, honestly, because say if you really did want to play this on the PS5 with some friends, it's probably not going to work properly. What the... I'm not pulling over. No. Yeah, cops are nothing in this game at all. Yeah, there's infinite nitrous on the PS5. <laughs> yeah, nah, this game is bugged out. There's even someone right here. Yeah, in the BRZ. It's a shame, honestly, because... Like I was going to say, you would want to play this with friends, but... This game wasn't made for new gen. It was made specifically for the PS4. Or, then again, 7 gen, so... I mean... 8th gen. <laughs> it was made for 8th gen consoles. And for some reason the Frostbite engine doesn't really cooperate well with this game specifically for some reason. You can play Rivals perfectly fine. You can play Payback and Heat perfectly fine, but 2015 is the one game that just doesn't function. I do plan to stream this game on my PS4 someday though. Eventually, because I know I've been streaming a lot of Need for Speed Heat, but one of these days here in the upcoming weeks, I'll bring down my PS4 again, stream some 2015, race with you guys, and let's see how that goes down. Alright, so no one joined the event, so I'll just do it myself. And the stopwatch is done. Then again, when it comes down to you and the AI, those are the only things that really work properly in real time. Everything else is just frozen, stuck in a loop or something in between. Even with this infinite nitrous, it's so funny. Oh, that's the same guy from earlier. And then they suddenly teleport. I'm telling you, that's not normal. You would know when it's someone doing it intentionally, but only on the PS5 that happens. And talk about the magnet physics all you want, but this is the last Need for game where your car actually counter steers for some reason when going sideways. Let alone the speed at which you drift sideways. Like, what happened? And the crash cams. But yeah, this is the true Need for Speed 2015 experience on the PS5. Infinite NOS, infinite speed. <laughs> you can just wall ride like it's Forza. <laughs> All right, so to wrap up this video, I'm going to do a drag race. So where's that one drag race near the bridge? There we go. Battle to the metal. Yeah, drag racing in this game is something I did way too much back in the day because they were just fun. It was always you versus one other random and right off the bat, you just go to the little box. And then once you're in the box, more of your tires. And you try to fill the burnout meter perfectly. Uh, thought I was about to get perfect, but I'll be alright, I'll be alright. Versus Lowell 911. And that's the thing, they're just so simple. Do a burnout, use right six upshift, downshift. And you just race to the finish. Unfortunately, I can't see what my time is, so I'm just going to rely on the infinite nitrous yet again. And yeah, for some reason, when you look back in this game, it like warps the tone and pitch of your car. <laughs> so many weird things with this game that should be documented, honestly. Also, before I end this video, I just want to show you guys a little something, too. I believe in Need for Speed Heat, there's like a little progression menu like this as well, but... What happens in menus like these? 
Okay, you actually can see an overview of how long you played the game for, your overall progress in the game, who you're like. <laughs> I guess it's just for this game in particular, and for me, I'm like Magnus Walker because of how fast I drive all the time, but just overall statistics, like your overall progress, it shows your favorite car, how much money you've made, photos like miles driven, like stuff like that. I just like seeing it's like progression and your milestones, really. Activities, events. Just nice little menus like that. And then there's even the snapshots, which I think are gone in Unbound, right? I think this is gone. And then, of course, the most liked photo is Brian's skyline. And there's, like, more than two pictures of that. If you scroll, there's more than two pictures of that. Discount M3 GTRs, yep. Yep. <laughs> Brian's... E <laughs> what is this? <laughs> but stuff like this I miss. But we're not going to talk about the rap designs in this game, though. We had some very outlandish rap designs in this game, but that's for another video. But yeah, honestly, that pretty much sums up Need for Speed 2015 on the PS5. If you have this game, just play it on the PS4. It's the superior version. It plays well. It runs well. If you were to play this on PS5, you're not going to be able to see your friends do proper races with randoms as the races won't load or function properly and it's just gonna be a big waste of your time so i hope you guys enjoyed the video this is something a little different as i want to like social the whole need for speed heat back-to-back -back uploads and just show you guys other games i have on my playstation so i'll catch you on the next one and have a good day peace